Good morning, it's Joe with Jolie Farms. Hey, we're going to do a little walking tour of the square in Vilcabamba. I've had a lot of people requesting uh, a little walking tour just so they know where things are at. But I want to remind people that life in Vilcabamba doesn't exist all on the square. There's so much to be offered outside the square. So we're going to hit just a few of the highlights here though. So, um, you know, you know what we're talking about when we mentioned that we've been somewhere and uh, just give you a little flavor for it and my friends who have tiendas restaurants outside the square don't get your feelings hurt i'll be around to you with another video and uh, just want to help everyone uh, get a feel for what life in vilcabamba is like all right as we head down to the square we've got la caseta pizzeria we haven't eaten there in a while but everyone loves the pizza there out Marino Organico really great place to buy fruits and veggies it's all organic there and then uh, the cooperative Cockville they um, take uh, Western Union you can make payments on your utilities there uh, matricula all sorts of things and this is Catherine's restaurant They're not quite open yet this morning um, you can see their menu of the day this is the best place in town to get soup. Super cheap Ecuadorian food. You can see there their uh, menu of the day, $3. Gets you uh, all of that. Or you can get the special menu for $3.50 or even $4 if you want seafood and different things. So very inexpensive, great way to go. Nacho cell, you can buy minutes for your cell phone there. You can buy all kinds of cell phone stuff. And uh, Nacho's mother right next door, she cuts my hair. She does a wonderful job. Vilca Tours, fairly new business there. They're going to do uh, tours of Vilca Bamba. And a new uh, natural supplement store called Vilca Natu. That's the plastic store. Anything plastic you can buy in there. Pots and pans and things like that. And so right here is the Central Park. And of course, every Central Park in Ecuador has a church. It overlooks the park. And you have all of the different uh, ATMs here. Yes, you can use your US credit card at those ATMs. A little early this morning, but a few people still getting out and about. Some of the noises you're hear are gonna be motorcycles, and diesels, trucks. Pretty common for South America. There's Le Seca's cafeteria right there. She's not open yet. They're a really nice family. Love their two sons and Leonora Le Seca. Um, they do some nice food. See here in the Central Park, there's the fountains going right now. It's kind of beautiful in town. Walk up into here. A lot of people spend time here in the park. Just sitting on the benches, enjoying life. Life's much slower here. Hola, hola, buenos dias. And these are taxi stands here, so the taxis come and park and you can get a taxi. The lady will hail a taxi for you. This restaurant here is called La Esquina which means the corner, um, corner restaurant, typical Ecuadorian food. And our friend Marisol, her tienda right there, nice little grocery store. She packs about everything in there as you can imagine. And uh, up on this end of the street, we're going to have Beverly Hills Coffee Shop, Patty's uh, restaurants up there, uh, Timothy's. At the very corner is the French Bakery. They're closed right now, um, so we won't do much with that. Just gonna try to stick close to the square.
You can buy all kinds of electrical things in there, light bulbs, you name it. This is commercial Carmita. Carmita has a great place. You can buy all sorts of hardware and things in there. She's loaded up with it. Very lovely lady. Here's my friend Chester. How you doing, Chester? Good to see you. Buenos dias. And there's the Vilcabamba sign they put up a couple years ago. So on this street right here, it goes on one side of the church. You've got a really good uh, grocery store here on the corner. You've got this pharmacy right here Robert owns. And w Roberto, he's a friend of ours. He does uh, very, very good pharmacy work for us. There's two more pharmacies in the same block. So uh, I don't know, I don't use those, but you know, they're probably good pharmacies too. Right straight down there, you see there's a stage. They had a big event this weekend and they'll be taking down the stage today and moving it out. Uh, but that is Cockpay uh, Credit Union down there. And that's uh, a great place to do banking. And on this corner is La Esquina Restaurant. Got a really nice patio inside. Buenos dias, senor. Como esta? And so this restaurant right here is called Natural Yogurt. And so they do a lot of uh, organic uh, meals there, you know. They have one of the best, uh, what they call crepe de pollo, is a chicken crepe for breakfast. Four dollars, fill you up for the whole day. Love these people, they do a nice job. Don't know much about this place here, haven't been there yet. This place right here, um, they make wine and sell wine there, it's $10 a bottle. They also have a wonderful um, cacao liqueur. And uh, so as most of you know, cacao is a, what they make chocolate from. And so we like to use that and make a bananas flambe. And that's also $10 a bottle, really nice stuff. La Criollita restaurant. I know too much about that. Now, this place here on my left, right here, this is Mama Silvia's restaurant. This is owned by my good friend, uh, Franco Mangrini. He's an Italian friend of mine. They do great Italian food here. And uh, he'll open up about 11 o'clock and get ready for lunch. And so if you like Italian food, this is a great place to come. Now, as you can see, we've got cell phone stores and, you know, all kinds of electronic stores all around town. There's too many to count, actually. Probably have about six or eight bakeries in town. So we'll walk up back up here. I'll show you some of the typical gringo hangouts. Hola. Hola. How are you, my friend? Doing good? Okay. Good. Come down into this block. This restaurant here called Pincho's Vilcabamba, and they do a kind of a grilled shish kebab thing there. This is uh, Patricia's Tienda there. Got a lot of great stuff. We buy a lot of stuff from them. And over here is the Juice Factory. Big gringo hangout. A lot of people like juice. Marcia's Tienda. Good morning, guys. Hey, don't film me. Yeah, we got you on record. <laughs> so this is the chocolate shop called Del Paramo. It's a Belgian chocolate shop and they got all kinds of stuff. They even have uh, ice cream that they sell in there. Really good ice cream. Some of you uh, know Abundant Living and this is their headquarters. They're a new office here. And uh, Hola, buenos dias. Como esta? Todo bien? It's okay if I 
Commando? Sure. See, this is my good friend Aura. She's uh, a friend of ours and her whole family are friends of ours, so we love them. They're our Ecuadorian adopted family. Good morning. Good, morning. good to see you. Good to see you too. Everything is good? Everything is good. They're doing a retreat today, yeah? Ah, oh, okay. Very soon. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'll get out of your way. I know you're busy. Yeah, take care. Ciao, ciao. Hola. Uh, so this lady here, she's closed right now. But I've never had a manicure and pedicure in my life till I moved to Vilcabamba. And uh, this lady, Karina, does a wonderful job. For like $11, you get a manicure and a pedicure. And I come down here once every couple months and just let her take care of me and pamper me a bit. Forced to her office right there. Okay, we'll be coming back up the street that uh, is around the corner from where I parked. And uh, one thing about Ecuador to note, it's not very handicap accessible. You see the sidewalks here. Nobody really wants to walk on them because of all the steps. Everyone typically walks in the street here in Vilcabamba. It's just much easier. On the left is a coffee shop called Aqua. Aqua in Peruvian means water, basically. And a uh, good coffee shop. A few sandwiches and some desserts. All good. And it is right next to the middle school. So coming back up the other side of the street toward the church again. Naomi, she cuts hair for me sometimes. She's very good. Charges three dollars. Does a very nice job at cutting your hair. And if you need uh, your gas bottles filled, you come here to Loja Gas and they will exchange them for you. And it's like $2.75. Then you see the church ahead. Hola. So here on my left, this is be the elementary school. So the kids will get out at noon. And we go to school here about half a day. This is my friend Yadira's post office. And she, uh, I have to explain about the post office. So the post office here in Ecuador went out of business. And so we really have no postal, postal service here at all. Um, there's someone has bought it and they are going to reinstate the post office, but it's not functional yet. However, Yadira, you rent a post office box here for a hundred bucks a year. And you can get your mail from other countries like the U.S. And it'll be here in about two weeks. It goes in your box, you go check it, and you're good. Um, she also has Ya Express shipping. So if you want to ship items from Amazon, it's about 10 bucks a pound if you have a post office box here. Um, and, you know, it gets here in about two weeks. So uh, very valuable service. She's also an attorney and a real estate agent. Um, she does a little bit of everything. Yadira speaks per perfect English. This is a shoe shop. And he does leather goods and shoes and fix or make whatever you want. More tiendas. As you can see, you can buy just about anything here in Ecuador and here in Vilcabamba. Okay, this little restaurant right here is called uh, Bamboo. 
if I can show you the sign. Great uh, Ecuadorian food there. We usually eat there every Saturday morning. That's where you'll find us. Okay, we're back where we started. About a four block walk in just a few minutes. It is, uh, all of it's uphill. Um, I'll say I, I try not to film locals uh, in the video if I can help it, especially if they're indigenous. Um, indigenous folks don't always like to have their picture taken. So I try to respect that. I always ask first. So if you see that I catch some locals by accident, I try to cut them out when I can. Um, but I purposely don't film them because I want to respect their preferences. Um, so that's just a short little walking tour of downtown Vilcabamba. Again, life doesn't exist only on the square in Vilcabamba. That's just a small taste of what the country has to offer. And uh, we hope you'll uh, come here and uh, take a look around and go outside the city a bit and, and see all of what this area has to offer. The temperature right now is maybe 72, 73 degrees, and it's just perfect sunshiny day. Um, life is good in Vilcabamba. As you can see behind me, these murals, um, they paint these all over town. Different artists come and, and uh, put their work on the walls here. And we really like it. I'll try to show you a little bit more. And so this is a mural that says El Agua Es Vida. And what it means is that, you know, life is in the water. Water is life. And so it's actually, it's a, a great mural for depicting how we should pay attention to the environment. Um, shows a baby here with all the bumblebees around it. And uh, so, you know, trying to support the idea that we should all be um, extremely careful about this environment here that we have. This is a so-called blue zone. Um, and we need to keep it blue and uh, not destroy this beautiful place. Okay, so that's about all I have today for the walking tour. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, please list them down below. Lots of taxi traffic this morning. Everybody's getting to work. But uh, definitely give us comments, give us questions. We love to respond to them. We try to get back to you as quick as we can. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.